the first time. And then what has happened since then? What happened immediately after that? It's an amazing story. So come on, Kelly. Woohoo! Hi. Hi. <laughs> Who's in the background there? Scampering. Really quick. That was my partner. I was like, go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good timing. Oh, uh, everything works out. Of course. <laughs> All right, my beauties. Yes, I'm so excited to share my story. Thank you for having me on as Hi. always. Yeah, of course. Okay, so I did my first just challenge back in 2019. That's how long I've been lurking around this community, guys. <laughs> so I, um, since I've done that first just challenge, nothing has been the same. Um, I've also done six or seven more challenges because, like I said, I just kept lurking around after that. <laughs> um, and I kept doing them because I kept getting a lot out of it, but I kept waiting to jump in because I was scared and hesitant to make that trapeze leap. Mm. Oh, so before getting to work with the little volcano, I was a pool of self doubt, hesitation, shame, scarcity mindset fear of the unknown, but the worst part was I didn't even realize it. I was keeping myself small in quite literally all areas of my life. Uh, in my first ever gist, I got the opportunity to hop into a coaching call with Kit Volcano. <laughs> with Artex, your horse at the time, weren't you? I remember that very clearly. <laughs> He's still here. Yeah, that's right. When I said that my horse's name was Artex and I knew that y'all's kiddo is a tray, you kid goes, oh my God, what other sign do you need to work with us? <laughs> Exactly. I loved that moment so much. Um, and I was terrified <laughs> when I jumped into that call with you, Kit. Uh, even though I am often told that I am intimidating, you're welcome if that's any of you. <laughs> I am also very easily, have been in the past in my timeline, a self, uh, very intimidated. Uh, Kit, this handsome, successful, no nonsense, bullshit blasting wrecking ball king. <laughs> was face to face with me, ready to call me out on my limiting beliefs. Uh, I don't remember everything about the call. I just know that my shrinkter was puckered <laughs> and I was in the hot seat. <laughs> At one point it hit me like a proverbial wrecking ball that I was a damn pessimist. Me, sunshine, rainbows, unicorn, wannabe, Dolly Parton, singing, nature loving, tree hugging, artsy fartsy self was a pessimist. <laughs> yes, I was. Even to the point where Kit said, or I said out loud to you, Kit, wow, I'm a pessimist. And you immediately went, yeah, you really are. <laughs> and that was a huge eye-opening moment for me, life-changing moment. And I was thinking, okay, Mr. Can confirm, I hear you. <laughs> All right. So that was a gut punchy awakening, like I said, but did I trust the process and did I trust my niggle and jump in the program then? Mm -mm. Nah. No, nope, I kept, kept listening to my scarcity mindset. You like it rough. You need a I big do, Apparently. <laughs> you hear that, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> I love that this is the space where I can do that and we all laugh about it. <laughs> what a CrossFit coach. Like you're a tough, you're a tough babe, you know? Yeah, like you're yeah. yeah. Gotta be. And I just needed that spiritual toughness too, outside exactly. of the physical toughness. Exactly. Insert little volcano. <laughs> So, no, I didn't join then. I was thinking that I needed to wait for everything to be perfect, for there to be no debt, plenty of savings, complete open time in my schedule, et cetera, et cetera. But in reality, does that ever, ever happen <laughs> when we feel called to do something? Mm -mm. I waited to do, I waited to finally jump into a program for another year and a half. Wow. And during that year, yeah, yeah. A year and a half of just continuing to be stagnant. Nothing progressed in my life during that year and a half. Um, aside from the, the jumps that I got with each just challenge that I did. <laughs> bunny but, hop. Yeah, little bunny hops, little bunny hops. Um, so let me find my, my spot here. So I, um, oh, because I waited that long, uh, <laughs> the cost of this craft almost doubled. Whoops. Hey, which <laughs> worth it, worth every penny and 100% as they should have, but cool, 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 cool. Uh, it was like, all right, I see you shaking your head at me. God, I got it. <laughs> that was my cosmic bitch slap. Um, that combined with how stagnant my life was. Uh, sometimes the cosmic bitch slap or the CBS, as I like to call it, 
is sneaky that way. The last thing I was wanting in my life for as long as I can remember was a stagnant life. And that's exactly what I had created in myself by waiting and hesitating to make that trapeze life. Um, it snuck up on me and I wasted over a decade of my life being exactly that stagnant. So righto, fast forward to that decision. Spring magma 2021, my first magma, albeit a virtual one, was no less life-changing. I had always wanted to do a magma and I was freaking pumped for this experience. I kind of knew what I was getting into, even though I had never done one because like I said, I kept lurking around the container. <laughs> Um, doing $30 challenge after $30 challenge after $30 challenge. So before Magma even started, I had already made the quiet commitment to myself to quit a job I was in that should have been a dream job at the time. I was an artist for a 3D printing company, um, making pretty good money. Yeah, for sure. For sure especially as a full-time artist. Um, but it was really, really toxic and it was actually very sexual assaulty as well. Um, so I had made the quiet decision to quit that. Uh, the Monday right after Magma. I took the week off for Magma. And uh, the only small problem there was I did not have another job lined up on the horizon of any kind, no income. But that's okay. I trusted the niggle. That was a big jump. And I believe that things were going to work out. And then what did I do? I jumped into Bizcraft then. Because <laughs> that was like the cosmic bitch slaps were all coming together at once. And I, I trusted it and I jumped in. Um, I was super pumped. Lead coach Alana played me Dolly Parton nine to five, my personal power song. <laughs> and it was a magical experience. I was so excited that I was finally doing this and finally signing up. I had a amount of credit card space and that's what I put my deposit on. And like I said, I had no extra income coming in. I had no savings. And no. Your job. And I just quit my job. Yep. Yep. No, no job lined up on the horizon. Lots of debt. Um, so, uh, cue panic attack. I immediately had a panic attack after I signed up to the point where I sent Alana a message on Facebook and I was just like, help, what have I done? <laughs> and just, just completely panicked. And I was like, I can't do this. I don't know what I was thinking. Blah, 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 blah. And she was like, all right, I hear you. She made me feel heard. Sit with it for a moment and listen to your heart. I did that. And guess what it said? Spoiler alert, here I am, a BizCraft grad. <laughs> so I went through with it. And guess what? Hold on, hold on. There's a part of this story they're missing right now that I think is like the sweetest part, which is yeah. like you were having a panic attack on the kitchen floor and then your partner came in and found you. And what yeah. happened? <laughs> yeah, I did. I, I hesitated to omit that. But yeah, he came in. You were like, what have I done? I'm yeah. sorry. Because he was going and doing barn chores completely alone so that I could participate in Magma. And I was like, I just committed to pay $10,000. <laughs> and he was like, whoa, 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 whoa. You get a lot out of this. I see you grow every time you do something. Do you want to do this program? Yeah. Do you trust that it's working for you? Yeah. Then what's the problem? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So we moved forward with it and the money showed up every single month. It was there. Like Rosie and Kit say, they'll work with you. They worked with me to figure out my payments, but I had no problem with it. I made every single payment on time and I side hustled. I farm sat. I did what I needed to do. I sold some junk, um, but I never once felt you stressed. You your prices for farm sitting. I did. I doubled my prices for farm sitting. Yeah. <laughs> because you're worth it. You <laughs> Stayed in the energy of how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Oh my God, how am I going to do this? That's what blocks people. What did you yes. do? I accepted that this was my soul calling and that this was my soul tribe and realized that investing in myself was the highest way to honor myself. Mm. And that, um, yeah, like grabbing that cup and running forward, it was going to fill up along the way. I didn't have to wait for it to be full before I started my race. Mm. And so that's going into that with that confidence of oh my god I need to do this and I'm so excited that I'm doing this and it's gonna work it worked who would have thought <laughs> so ah oh, let me scroll down a little bit um yep yeah, so jumping into a program as terrified as I was uh has empowered me in more ways than I could ever explain I'm not only getting paid to coach little volcano clients that want to work with me and I I'm freaking loving it. I didn't even know that I wanted to be a coach until I signed up for BizCraft. <laughs> really? 
And I am CrossFit coaching again, and I'm loving that. Um, I'm just meant to be a coach, I guess. And I am making twice as much money as I was at that toxic job that I was clinging to and working half as many hours. Um, I'll let y'all do that math. <laughs> so I did all of this because I decided to invest in myself, not having all my ducks in a row, even though I have ducks. They walk themselves in a row. I don't need to do anything about it. I don't know if you guys knew that about ducks, but they walk themselves in a row. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> Johnny, that was for you. What was it? Let go and let grow. Your ducks are in a row. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's so good. Patron is queen over there. <laughs> So I am not only flourishing as a coach and as a CrossFit coach and making more money, I am also extremely growing as a partner to Mark, extremely growing as a friend, just flourishing in my life. I have been hitting PR, which stands for personal record in the gym over and over and over again. And it's just happening. And I'm not doing anything necessarily different. I was work, I'm working just as hard now as I was before, but because I've stepped into that area of, of believing in myself from the you work arm up there as yeah. you're, as you're talking, <laughs> just like casually just like, showing off stop. your deltoids. The bathroom's that way. <laughs> the link is that way. Yeah. Yeah. The link, so Maybe the link down in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I am fitter than ever, happier than ever, more in love with myself, with my partner, with my friends than ever, thicker than ever in a good way. <laughs> and this is all just been cascading into my life after jumping into BizCraft. And a little side note, a little PS, um, one of the biggest things I realized that I was listening, li missing in my life when I was being very stagnant was adventure. Mm -hmm. um, I have this sole need for adventure and to travel. So in this next like 365 day year alone, um, I am going to Texas in like a month to go run a 48 hour trail race with Tracy Beebe. <laughs> what? What? I've never been to Texas. Her and I have never met in person yet, although we've connected deeply through the volcano. Amazing. So, yeah. And I am going to San Diego for Thanksgiving for fire and ice. Bye. I'm gonna learn, and I've never been to California. I've never been to San Diego to learn how to be a fire walker and to meet you guys. Which you're gonna be a fire tender, right? You're you're coming. Fire to tender. Yes. Yeah. What? Come come walk on fire with me, guys. You walk on fire. The person tending to your coals is this woman this right one. here. <laughs> I uh, I'm so excited for that. I can't even wait for that. And then I'm going to Guatemala in January to do a week long yoga retreat and adventure retreat with my OG BizCraft buddy, uh, yeah. Allie. And if y'all are interested in that, there's still spots. Mm -hmm. um, never been to Guatemala. And then in June, I signed up to do my first ever full marathon to run with this lady here, to run with wow. Rosie and Amy. And so I have all of these like new things, new experiences, new places. And it was all, all before this, I was in a place of, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't afford it. And now I've changed from a place of anxious, what if to a powerful, yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. And it's all because of jumping in a program. I love it. Damn. Damn. Sorry, that was long winded, but no, not you're sorry. I'm sorry. You're welcome. My crap. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Kelly. Wow. I love the, yes. Every time you tell the story, I love the updates. I love the evolution. Um, thank you for coming on and inspiring so many people here. We love you. Thank you so much for the opportunity to do so and giving me that chance for day by day evolution. I love you guys. I love you too. Ariel Mack.